night after Nebraska and six other states filed a lawsuit against the federal government looking to end the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, local Hispanic leaders are voicing their concerns. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. A group of DACA and Temporary Protected Status recipients had a chance to grill Omaha Congressman Don Bacon tonight in South Omaha. Reporter Maya Sines was there. Yeah, Craig, Jen, this was a pre-planned meeting with the congressman before Nebraska and the other states filed that lawsuit to end DACA. But many of the people tonight told him they're tired of living in limbo, uncertain about their future in the U.S. During an intimate meeting with Congressman Don Bacon at the popular Plaza Latina in South Omaha, people from the area took turns asking questions regarding DACA and TPS. Concerns are growing about DACA status after Nebraska joined six other states in a lawsuit to end the program, calling it unconstitutional. We hard work here in Nebraska. We have we live about 18 years. I live in Nebraska 18 years, but we want the Senator Mr. Bacon support us because we need, uh, we pay taxes, we, we work hard, we keep the credit good, and uh, we, we are good citizens. Rodrigo Quesada from El Salvador says Nebraska is his home and believes many in the area do support TPS and DACA recipients. I'm used to this country. I'm basically a citizen from here. Going back to my country would be like going somewhere foreign. I have no idea what that would be like. Congressman Bacon said he supports TPS and DACA and agrees with Nebraska Attorney General Doug Peterson's decision to join the lawsuit. I know the Attorney General, I know it's hard on this matter. His, his goal is to get a law, not an executive order. He wants to see a law that Congress passes, the President signs, that he can help enforce. Right now he feels like he's enforcing against the law and he wants to fix that. Jose Molina has TPS and worries that once TPS ends in September of 2019, DACA will be next. We're looking for them to give us a permanent residency or some other type of extended stay, but we're ready and need to have a permanent residency here now. And the worry is that if we don't get it, then we'll be forced back or have to hide here. Now, the Texas lawsuit asked the federal government to stop renewing and issuing new DACA permits. Under that new proposal, the program would be eliminated in two years. Reporting live from the studio at Maya Science, three news now.